That was very good. choir that was very good a reminder at five o'clock this afternoon you can join this choir or just be here and sing with us let's all stand together and sing now the words are on the screen and also be in the, the hymn book on number 485 there's the notes there also to sing we'll use verses one and two please sings about revive us lord please we praise the
I want to welcome you to church this morning, but Pastor also has some words of wisdom for us, so I'm going to get out of the way. While you're being seated, you welcome Pastor Clemens to church this morning and to the platform. My, my, my. I, I tell you, he's very careless with his words. He said, words of wisdom from Brother Clements. I don't know. But anyway, I am glad to be here. Amen. And I do know someone who has words of wisdom. And, um, and so you'll take it from him and not from me. But good to see everyone this morning. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for being in the services today. Good to see a good choir. Although I can tell, I can tell it's almost summertime. And um, many of our winter folks are all gone, but um, got one other couple getting ready to uh, take a little journey. The Gaskins are going to be leaving this week. They'll be back in November. Raise your hands so people can know and pray about you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Been a great joy to have you folks in our church all winter long. Very faithful, very faithful people. And it's good to see everyone this morning. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for joining us and being here um, for um, a, what I believe is going to be a great and wonderful day. Let me loosen this up. It's already tight. All right. But uh, just a couple of announcements, and then our ushers will be ready uh, to come and welcome our visitors. Mother's Day, can you believe it's already Mother's Day next Sunday? My goodness alive, I can't. You know, I was almost in shock when I realized that. But next Sunday is Mother's Day and and uh, I always say this every year, so you know the routine. You know the routine. Mothers, call up your children. Honey, I won't do the church with me next Sunday. Would you come? I mean, just cry. I mean, just lay it on them. Amen. Amen. And um, put them on a guilt trip if you have to, but get them here. And this Mother's Day, we'll have a great time together next Sunday. And so you plan to come and to be with us. And then our mothers and ladies, it's not just mothers, but it's ladies, are having a very special the Saturday, next Saturday week. It's two weeks off uh, on the 18th. And they're having a ladies' tea. And so uh, it's going to be just a wonderful, beautiful occasion. All the beautiful china on the table. Yes, ma'am. Okay, there is a sign-up sheet, and so we will make sure we have enough tables and everything decorated, everything fine, so when you come, there won't be anything to do because we'll already know how many to prepare for. So there is a sign-up sheet, for, and um, so if you'll please do that. And our speaker for the ladies is going to be Mrs. Barbara Drake, and uh, we've got her to come, and she'll be speaking and so it's going to be a wonderful, wonderful time. So ladies, please sign up, plan to come, and to be a part of that special, special occasion. Um, ushers, you come, and then I'll do what I'm going to do. Come on down. If you're visiting with us today, we're glad you're here. We really are. Would you just raise your hand? Oh, just raise your hand. Thank you. I've got a visitor here. I've got one over here. Raise your hand, dear. I, read, I, I met you. Raise your hand. All the way in the back there. Um, Tyler, all the way in the back. Oh, good. To, thank you, all of you, for coming and being here with us this morning. We appreciate it so very, very, very much. Thank you so very much. Let me do something a little unusual this morning. And um, for the next uh, 30 seconds or so, I'm going to declare our church in an official, are you listening? Yeah. yeah. Official business meeting. You like that? That means you get your knocks and gloves on. <laughs> no, 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 not here, not here. But um, Miss Joybeth, where's Miss Joybeth? Here she is. Stand up, Miss Joybeth. Her and her brother works with our teens. She's going on a mission trip in a couple of weeks and um, going to Brazil. And two things I want to remind you of. She's going to have a sheet out there. If you'd like to have reports from her on the mission trip, on the email, now, she's not going to call you on the phone, but she will send you an email and let you know an update how things are going and what's going on on her mission trip. Uh, she'll do that on, for you, but please give her your email address. And she doesn't know I'm going to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
I did get approval from the head honcho. And that's not Buddy. <laughs> but um, to help defray the cost of her mission trip so that it won't be entirely upon her family. And if you'd like to add to this personally, you can do so. But as a church, I'd like to give her give an expenses of $1,500 wow. out of our mission money to help pay. I, I can hear her daddy saying, hallelujah. <laughs> Anything else you want to add? Okay, she's leaving on the 14th. All right, so we'll be praying for you and wishing you well and God, God speed. So uh, we're, our church will be, be doing that. Is that okay with everybody? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you so very, very much. Let's stand together and go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Uh, but this Joyce Gaskins is in the Brandon Hospital, had heart surgery this last week, doing well, we understand. I just talked to family. And um, Edwin, uh, where is Edwin? His mother has had some heart problems and pains, but she is in the hospital this morning. So let's remember, I would call her name, but I probably couldn't pronounce it. But I can, I can say Edwin's mother. What is it? Emma's sister. Emma's sister. Yes. I can do that. We have a dear friend that has had pancreatic cancer surgery and complications in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. The family's asking for prayer. Okay. Well, you've heard that. You've heard that. And we join together with that. Ms. Glennis Burnett is traveling, bringing her 96-year-old aunt from Virginia back to Florida to take care of her. And uh, so let's pray for them. And uh, they're not here this morning, but Miss Veronica Burklaw uh, has asked prayer also, and I ask that you remember her. Let's pray. Gracious Heavenly Father, thankful, Lord, for the place that we can come and worship together. Lord, where we can encourage each other and and Lord, that we can just pray one for another. Ask you, dear Lord, your blessings upon all of these who are in need this morning. And Lord, even that one that I don't know the name to there in Atlanta with the pancreatic cancer. Oh, God, merciful God, touch there, we pray. And Lord, we pray for Edwin's mother. Ask you to bless her, Lord. Lord, Miss Glennis Burnett and her family as they travel and Give them guidance and help and wisdom, we pray. Lord, we'll thank you for all that you do. May your blessings be upon the church today, upon the service today. Help me, dear God, enlighten my mind and heart and give me the freedom to speak. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you and God bless you all. Those who can remain standing as we sing together, leaning on the everlasting arms using verses 1 and 2, page 460. Everybody smile and take a deep breath and then be ready to sing. What a fellowship, what a joy divine leaning on the everlasting arm. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine leaning on the everlasting arm. Leaning, leaning, safe and secure from all alarm. Leaning, leaning, leaning on the everlasting heart. Oh, that's fantastic playing and singing, but I know you folks are much better than that. So let's praise the Lord together as we sing about how sweet it is to walk with Him. Oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way leaning on the everlasting arm. Oh, how... And secure from all alarm, leaning, leaning, leaning on the 
everlasting God. Amen. This half of the choir may be seated. The other half is going to remain standing. And that's ecclesiastical numbers. I'm not half and half. Oh, again, it's so good to see all of you. And thank you for your prayers for my crazy illness. And the uh, Lord's just bringing me through some things. And you can just keep on praying, as well as for all the other needs in our church. And this choir, as we sing now, orchestra, please. Again, choir, 
Our next hymn will be on number 453, He Keeps Me Singing. The choir is moving. They want to join you in this part of the sanctuary. Let's sing, He Keeps Me Singing. Everyone singing together. Thank you again, choir. Those were good numbers. There's within my heart a melody. Jesus whispers sweet and low. Fear not, I am with thee. Peace be still in all of thy step and flow. Jesus, 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 sweetest name I know. Fills my every longing. Keeps me singing as I go. All my life was wrecked by sin and strife. Discord filled my heart with pain. Jesus swept across the broken string. Stirred the song. Before the instrumentalists leave, how about one more verse just for us? Play one more verse. Okay, thank you. Good morning, everybody. Thank you again, Arthur. I hope this song is a great song, but uh, everybody knows uh, about the, the hilltops and the valleys. We all have our uh, mountains to climb and, uh, and valleys to climb. And uh, I just say this morning, probably 90% people don't know how to go through it because they don't know the Lord. But when we have mountains and valleys and we know the Lord, he makes sure that we get through them because he helps us along. So this is a song is very ministering. I know I sung it once before. I didn't, couldn't get through it because we had a, as you probably, most of you know, my wife has recovered from brain aneurysm. So for the last two years, we had a, quite a mountain to climb. But she is a walking miracle woman. Yeah. Teresa in the back. She says, I'm probably going to be crying back there when I sing. So please don't cry because I, then I'll start and then goes the song. But uh, this song, uh, I think the Gator vocals wrote it, I'm sure. Jason Krebs did a phenomenal job. It's called I Face the Mountain. I face the mountain that I've never faced before. That's why I'm calling on you, Lord. I know it's been a while, but Lord, please hear my prayer. I need you like I never have before. Sometimes it takes a mountain. Sometimes a troubled sea Sometimes it takes a desert To get a hold of me Your love is so much stronger Then whatever troubles me Sometimes it takes a mountain To try 
trust you and believe. Isn't that the truth? Forgive me, Jesus. I thought I could control whatever life would throw my way. But this one thing I will admit that has me to my knees. I need you, Lord, and I'm not ashamed to say. Sometimes it takes a mountain Sometimes a troubled sea Sometimes it takes a desert To get a hold of me Your love is so much stronger than whatever troubles me. Sometimes it takes a mountain to trust you and believe. To trust you and believe Sometimes it takes a mountain Sometimes a troubled sea desert to get a hold of me your love is so much stronger than whatever troubles me Sometimes it takes a mountain to trust you in.